time for another low quality bio. Alright, Charmander. Um, he's a pretty good Pokemon. Um, good stats. Only one in any game. No matter what, there's only one. Um, he's a starter in red, blue, and, in red and blue, but he's. You can find him on a route in yellow later. Hey everybody, it's Roland64 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we, um, what did we do? It's been a while. It's probably, I think it's been like four days, but, yeah, that's how bad my memory is. Um, ah, I remember, we went up Nugget Bridge, and we got a new member to our team, Charmander. Um, in this episode, we are going to be heading out to Bill. Alright. Um, since I didn't mention it in the last video, you can probably see that, the, that this video is in widescreen. I decided to format it like this. So let's go ahead and begin with trainers. I just got down from Mount Moon. But I'm ready. Alright, so... Yeah. Hiker wants to fight. So, sorry there hasn't been an upload in the past few days. Um... I recently had a birthday. I am now... 15 years old. So, yeah. So, I got a few games. Um, I got Kid Icarus Uprising, which is... Holy crap. That's a... That's a really good game. Like... It's better than I thought it would be. Uh, if you don't have it, which I doubt that you don't... Uh... I recommend picking it up. Um, I also got Pokemon Conquest, and... Okay, I'm low on health. But I got Pokemon Conquest, which I haven't played much of, but it's, from what I've played, it's a good game. Um... Let's see, what else? Uh, I got three more games. I got Super Paper Mario on the Wii, and I got Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, and the last game that I got is Star Trek Voyager Elite Force for the PC, which I haven't played yet, but from what I've seen, it's a really good game. And I'm sure I'll like it, because I I love Star Trek. Especially Voyager. Maybe I'll do an LP of that game someday. Uh, yeah. And Charmander grew to level 11. Um... You worked hard. Alright, now I'll be right back. And I'm back, alright. So, um... I actually don't want to fight that trainer up there. But don't worry, we will. Eventually. If you know what I mean. I'm gonna try and avoid some of these trainers. Um... I don't think this one's avoidable. Hi, my my boy is my boyfriend is cool. All right, sorry I didn't see the friend there. So this is Lass. Parents must have been really good at naming. Um. So yeah. So I got some pretty good games for my birthday. Um, 
And I'm actually... I actually want to LP all of them. Like, I think the game that I've played the most is Kid Icarus Uprising, but... And I would love to do that, but there are two things stopping me. First of all, I don't have a camera anymore. See, I don't have the camera that I had, you know, a few months ago when I made... When I did camcorder videos. Before Ocarina of Time. I don't have that camera anymore, so I can't film my 3DS to LP Kid Icarus Uprising. And also, I just suck at Kid Icarus Uprising. Like, the thing is, it's a game where I can survive with just a pixel of health left. Like, on my health bar, I can survive with just a pixel of health left. And then Lady Palantina gives me food to heal. Like, and I have died a few times, but the reason I really suck at the game is because I have it on a low intensity. Like, seriously, on some of the levels, I have it on a very low intensity, like level intensity 2, because I suck. Plus, it's kind of got, like, dual analog control. Um, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, yeah, so Kid Icarus Uprising has pretty much dual analog control. And, so, like, because you move with the circle pad, and I screwed up. Oh, well. So, you, you move with the circle pad, and then you, uh, the way you aim your weapon is by using the touch screen, and then you fire with L. It actually has a control scheme from Metroid Prime Hunters. But, like, it's that kind of dual analog control that I'm no good at. Like, I am really bad at dual analog control. So that's why I'm really bad at Kid Icarus Uprising. But somehow I'm making it through all the levels. And so, it's just weird. So, maybe I'll do a walkthrough of it? I don't know. Um... Did I say walkthrough? I meant let's play. Oh well, maybe I will do a walkthrough of it. Jeez. I don't know. I'm not really a walkthrough kind of guy. I'm... I'm kind of like... You know... Nintendo Capri Sun, I don't really do walkthroughs, I just play a game. Of course, I think he, I think he said in, his, in one of his Skyward Sword videos that he considers himself a walkthrough kind of guy, but I don't know. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, what else? Alright, so there's just one more trainer. I think I'm just gonna go right to it. My friend has a cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. So, what kind of Pokemon do you have? Like, what, what Poke- Oddish. What's wrong with Oddish? Unless you're referring to something like Charmander. Like, you know what? You, Charmander knows Ember. Let's let's use Charmander for once. Um, yeah. Now I've played some of Super Paper Mario, but first I'm at a point where I'm like I'm in Chapter Three, Three, Chapter Three, Three. You know where I'm going up that tree in the pixelated place. 
I'm sure you've all seen Chuggy Conroy's LP of Super Paper Mario, so, you know, in like the pixelated place with Francis and stuff, and I have three health, and I cannot get up that tree without dying, and I have no items to recover my health. Like, I suck at that game, too. I don't remember what Pokemon that we're going to send out. Um, I'm going to send out Pikachu. Yeah, so sending out a Pidgey, so... Good idea to go to Pikachu. Oh, crap. But now... Charmander won't get the experience because I screwed up. Oh, well. Oh, well. What's next? Oddish. Well, jeez. We can just go back to Charmander. Keep him out. So, uh, yeah. So, Super Paper Mario is a good game, but holy crap, am I bad at it. But, <laughs> pretty much all the games that I've gotten for my birthday that I've played, I'm bad at. Like, three out of the five games I got for my birthday, I'm bad at. Like, I'm good at Pokemon Conquest, and I haven't played the Star Trek Voyager Elite Force. But I'm bad at Super Paper Mario, I'm bad at Kid Icarus Uprising. And I'm bad at Super Castlevania 4. That is a harder game than I expected. And the thing is, old games generally are hard, so... I don't know what my deal was, but... Alright, I think I'm done talking. Sea Cottage, Bill lives here. Let's go in. Uh, Pikachu's confused. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here? Yeah, sure. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Pikachu's still confused. I don't blame him. Red initiated trans teleporters cell separator. <laughs> Pikachu just Pikachu looks absolutely spooked. Yeehaw! Oh, thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've gotta thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. And so, we received the SS ticket. That cruise ship, SSN, is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Yeah, sure. Come on, Pikachu, let's go. We got places to be. Things to explore. Trainers to fight. Pokemon to murder, I mean, make faint. Um, yeah. So if you just take this path, we can easily get back to Cerulean. Um, so yeah, and, wow, it, um, I don't know if I should keep going or if I should save this for the next episode, because there is a gym that we can go to, once I heal up. Now that we've gone to see Bill, we can go to the gym. Um, yeah, why not? Let's... Let's go to the gym in this episode. 
Just because it's been a few days and I haven't recorded in a while. So, yeah, let's go ahead and let's make this possibly a long episode. I don't know. Uh, my record pad says 17 minutes, but I'm but because of the stuff I've edited out, I'm sure it's like 15 minutes maybe. Yo, champion making. Here's my advice. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water Pokemon. You can drain all their water with plant Pokemon. Or zap them with electricity. This is the gym where Pikachu comes in handy. And I'm going to switch him out to the front, actually. So I'm just going to run along the outside. And unfortunately, that, that does not take me straight to Misty. But we we can easily avoid this trainer. Unfortunately, we cannot avoid this trainer. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. So yeah, having Pikachu in this gym is amazing. Because electric is super effective on water. Just watch. Super effective. Alright. Pikachu grew to level 21. That's even better. And we defeated the trainer. We didn't take any damage. So, with me here, Misty on my right, Pikachu looking at me, and that trainer looking around like she's lost, I'm going to save my game. Because that's what you do before gym leaders. And, one last look at Pikachu. Oh, uh, he's cheering me on. Jeez, I never knew he did that. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world's famous beauty, is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? Misty wants to fight, and thank god there's no loading on this music. I freaking love this music. So, starting off with a star you, level 18, here are your moves. Okay, that should be good. Um, Alright, every time I say that should be good, that's because I'm in real life, I'm just being quiet, and then when I'm editing, I just post-commentate that part. Just to tell you, I don't know any of the moves. So yeah. Next is Starmie. Level 21, and here are your moves. Alright, that should have been enough time. Ooh. We're kind of getting a challenge. We're not one hit KO. Oh, it's paralyzed. Let's just end this. Oh, we didn't end this. Oh, is this the end? Nope. We won. Easily. And Pikachu grew to level 22. We defeated Misty. I can't believe I lost. Alright. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. The Cascade badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders. There's more you can... There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. You can use Cut you can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. 
So we got TM11. Now, I don't know what TM11 is, so let's find out. Bubble Beam. Well, we don't have any Water-type Pokémon... yet. We will, though. Um, one last thing I want to do, at least hopefully. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. I know. Would you take care of this Bulbasaur? Yes. And so we got Bulbasaur. Our next addition, the next team member. So we have four members of our team already, and a slave. Sweet. Well, that's going to be all for this episode of Pokemon Yellow. In the next episode, we're going to head off for the next city, which I believe is Vermilion. So I will see you guys then. This is Swirl64, signing off.